What's up friends of the good mood? This is Manny and welcome to the best Hades you can currently run in the game. Have you ever wondered guys how strong the Hades can be when it's played right and when you have the right weapon loadout? Let's find out. And by the way, good job Mercury how you just flattened that Ares. Great play right there man. I love how you jumped inside that shield and just took him down. The meta sucker. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah, so we only got one kill in the beginning and it, it you know, we have a little bit of a slow start uh, Because you see there's a an enemy coming right there. We're, we're gonna try to take him down But he's gonna be stolen, but then I hold the base and I hold it forever <laughs> By the way, did, did you see that this is a griffin or are you seeing this? That's a griffin. I don't think a griffin should be in a match like this. The griffin is not powerful enough to compete with these robots. And uh, so I feel like the matchmaker should... Look, there's another one. Um, I feel like the matchmaker shouldn't put these hangers into these high-end Champions League matches. But unfortunately it does that. And I think the reason why it does that is because at certain times of the day you would have a very long wait time between matches if the matchmaker would only search for Champions League players. I don't know, sure, I'm not sure, but I think this this is probably the reason why why this is. This. But I still preferred if it would take a little longer and I only really have competitive players with me. That would be better. So we're attacking here the... Uh, of course, even though we did 99% of the damage, uh, this guy got the kill, of course. <laughs> what else is new? But we've got him afterwards and that's a good thing, I guess. All right, let's let's jump over and this is what makes the Hades so good corner shooting That's the strength of the Hades specifically corner shooting to the left because look what you have on the left side Very far mounted or from your perspective very far mounted to the left uh, The ember and the halo these both weapons you can corner shoot you can lock down with a light halo and you can splash hit really hard with the ember at the same time and you don't take any damage in return because you have these weapons so far located to the outer edges of the robot that you can hold hold out this corner or shoulder to the to the enemy and just hurt them so hard and, and that's really corner shooting to the left is the absolute legendary skill of the Hades. Speaking about skills, by the way, I do not have an incredibly overpowered pilot here. I think the pilot may just be level 10 or 15 or something, right? It's it's not a crazy pilot. You could make the uh, the resistance, the, the HP regeneration, the durability, speed, you could improve all that still on the Hades and it would become an even more bigger monster. We're already at six kills with this one Hades right now and um, here he has last stand, I have last stand. And that's how how it ended. <laughs> okay, and what do we have here? Seven kills so far. A Hades, a Ares taken out, and this right here is a uh, Raven. Was it an a Ares? Yeah, I think it was an Ares that I killed before. Yes. So now eight kills, and here comes yet another Ares. I'm trying to lock down the Ares. My problem here is I cannot corner shoot him because I have a, he's got Orkin rockets. I'm still trying to corner shoot even though I know I exposed myself to the Orkin rockets. Um, but I was trying to make him use his shield early and you saw it worked. He activated his shield like two and a half seconds earlier than I did. And look how, how he outlasts my shield still. First, he, uh, at least two seconds, probably two and a half seconds earlier he activated his shield before I activated mine. So I uh, outplayed him in terms of shield play a lot. But it wasn't enough. It, it's just not enough because the Ares shield lasts 9 seconds. That's an eternity. This is just so overpowered, man. You can't outlast. You, you need to outplay the Ares by, by a factor of 5 times just to be able to be at the same level of power. That's how much more powerful this robot just simply is. Boom. Uh, and now we're running an Ares ourselves and you see the game is easy going. It's like... It's like I checked the I, I, I opened the advanced options in War Robots and I checked the mode easy mode bam on Even though I do not run last stand on the Ares just so you guys know because that's what I usually call easy mode right running last stand on Ares Because uh, it always gives you yet another shield with nine seconds and instant built-in weapons kill and blah 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 All that every time you get it for free again when you have a le level six last stand and that's in my opinion called easy mode and I'm refusing to run this, right? I rather outplay them by activating their shields with corner shooting, retreating, activating my shield then and taking them out. That's how I rather uh, play this Ares. And uh, yeah, but this video is about the Hades. So let's jump right into the next match here and see how well we can do on 
Carrier. No. Yes. Is it Carrier? It is Carrier. Yeah. All right, let's walk up there. And by the way, guys, if you like this type of video, <laughs> testing, uh, you know, robots with specific weapon setups and uh, and finding out which, which ones are the best ones currently, uh, trying to counter some other robots and stuff, uh, then, yeah, if you like this and you want to see more of this, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet, guys. I would certainly appreciate it. See how early we activated the Ares shield here? I activated the Ares shield and now I bring up my own shield and the Ares is chanceless, right? And the cannon shots even hurt the Mercury, and I locked him down before he was able to stealth jump. Ooh, thank goodness, that was close. So, let's shoot around the corner. Unfortunately, corner shooting to the right only gives me one light weapon. Corner shooting to the left would give me a heavy and a light weapon. Um, but it's good enough, still. So, let's lock down the map carrier completely. We just had the anti-control activated. We were not locked down because we had it running on the blue... A spark, sparkling thing you just saw there is uh, the anti-control when it activates against suppression or lockdown. Now, what I like to do on carrier, let me explain that real quick right here, guys. We have a situation here where the enemy will be respawning right in front of us right here. I already know this because it always happens. So, I'm going to be looking that way and I'm going to wait for the next guy to die and then respawn. And it will be enemy 4, because he just died, right? Boom, there he is. Enemy 4 is right here. He spawns in front of us, he's immediately being attacked, and there's very little he can do at this moment. He has to run his stealth right away, right? He, w he would probably like to not run his stealth so early, but there is very little he can do. Um, he has his last stand taken. Boom. Now, enemy 4 dies again. Wh where do you think he's gonna respawn now? That's right. Exactly at the same position. Boom. We're having a vortex shooting us, okay? I was able to walk uh, to, to, to negate most of the damage by si strafing sideways. Bringing up the shield, bringing up the cannon. Boom, boom, boom. Is he going to respawn again? Enemy 4 comes for a third time. And this is a little bit lame, but then again, he's only fighting one robot all the time, And right? If I had no ammo, then I will have no ammo also after he respawns. If I use my ability, then I will have my re ability used when he respawns. So it's not that unfair, actually. It's just that um, he, he also... He doesn't do the right things. He should have just jumped into safety with his Inquisitor rather than jumping into the open where he will then sit with no stealth, no protection and then just getting flattened, right? So he's not doing the right types of things. Not jump into the open straight at me, jump into safety behind a wall, regenerate the stealth and then have completely reset conditions and make the best out of it. I heard the vortex in my neck, I heard it behind shooting so I activated my shield. Even though I won't be hurting this air, uh, this Hades with uh, uh, Haichi with it, I still know I would at least not take damage from the incoming vortex rockets. I'm sticking my what you see right now. I know it sucks, right? But this is something I do. Behind me is the um, the hover with vortex and aphid, and he's most likely currently hovering high up in the air and shooting his vortex. So what I do, I stack, I stack my back against the wall as close as possible so that the vortex from above hits the wall instead of me. Meanwhile, I'm shooting the Haichi in front of me who's getting closer and closer. Here comes the vortex. He had not been using his flight, I don't know why, uh, but now he's probably, I'm not sure what he's doing. He's locked down and now, it's, now he's dead. Okay, boom. So, even though I was in between, I could finish, I could fight them both relatively effectively here. Corner shooting once again to the right, unfortunately. But now I noticed, hey man, I want to corner shoot to the left. So what I do, I just walk over here for a second and now I corner shoot to the left with the ember. You see this? And uh, yeah, he's activating healing now and I'm like, okay, you know what? This takes too long. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way with the shield. I could have used the shield much sooner. I just wanted to do it without the shield. But then he ran the healing and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's activate the shielding and good. All right, so he's coming in again and I need to say props to this guy. Uh, because he's actually gonna fight me so much more now and uh, I already know how this is going to end It's gonna be sad for him, but hey man uh, props to this guy for constantly bringing up Robots look what robot he brought. He's bringing the um, The blitz robot. Okay, boom blitz robot didn't have a chance because he couldn't suppress me through the anti-control and Even if I had and, and if I didn't have anti-control, I would have simply activated my shield earlier he just activated my last stand, by the way, because once again, I refuse to run the shields. I don't always just do the shield fight. I just want to also show you some corner shooting here. 
and uh, show you that the Hades, even without the shield, can do very well. I'm now activating it because I don't want him to run away and activate another suppression, but uh, you see you can do very well without, even without the shield, simply by using the combat capabilities of the Hades. Boom, the cannon shot, boom, one cannon hit, and I activated my shield just to avoid any incoming damage. And with the Ember, you can suppress people. You can tell them to not come around the corner. As long as you send the flames around the corner, they will not run through those flames. If you, if you for example, want, want to regenerate your cooldown, boom, hit. Boom, hit with a cannon. If, for example, you want to regenerate your shield ability, what you can do is just send the flames. You can just keep sending flames from the Ember at that corner. And that will that will give you buy buy you the necessary time. By the way, we just killed his hellburner, uh, his his uh, blitz robot three times. We've killed his blitz robot three times already, and I'm sure he hasn't been using it for the first time. So there he is again, enemy two. This time coming with a Lancelot. It's a Mark II Max Lancelot, if I remember right. And uh, that, that's why it takes so long to bring him down. But you see, with corner shooting and with the shield ability at the same time, it's like an easy thing. You can just counter walk the corner, even with my legs damaged. My legs are damaged. I'm slower right now. I'm still fast enough to outmaneuver him around the corner and corner shoot him very effectively. And here he comes again. For the fifth time now or something like this with this uh, little blitz robot. And I wonder... How does he bring the Blitz Robot back five times when he has only four kills? I know that he only has four kills because he has it. I, I know the statistics, okay? We're gonna see the stats in a few seconds. And on the stats, you will see that Enemy 2 has only four kills. Now, what I what I wonder is how did Enemy, four, uh, enemy 2 bring back this Blitz Robot five times? Or actually bring it back four times. One time he has it like this normally, and then bring it back four more times with only four kills. Can you get that many restore points from just four kills? See that? I don't know. He used up all his points though. And uh, I just want to say here, um, Red, what's the name? Hold on. Uh, I'm going to check it out again. Uh, Red B. I want to give you props, man. Thanks for fighting me head on. Thanks for coming at me multiple times. And um, because I kind of started to feel bad for killing him over and over and over again with the same robot. And he would never succeed even against this one robot every time he dies. And I want to say, hey man, props and hats off to you, man, for thank for fighting me head on every single time. For not fooling around between corners. For actually just pushing me and fighting me and just, you know, going at it. I like this type of playstyle. And, um... Yeah, I'm really thankful for that. So, Red B, thanks for the good match. And, um, yeah, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen, about the Hades? Oh, you're jumping into the worst situation of the video. No, let's get away from this one. <laughs> um, yeah, what do you think about the Hades? Do you also think that Halo and Ember is the best combination on it, by the way, right? Since I'm reading your comment, well, almost all of them, or nah, not, not, not necessarily all of them, but most of your comments I'm reading. I may not respond to all of them. It's not really possible for me to do this, uh, but I'm reading most of them. So I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Do you also think the Halo and Ember is the best combo you can run on this? Including uh, Mercury or, um, or Raker and stuff like this? Or would you rather go, for example, with Glory Halo Halo? Or would you rather go with Redeemer Halo Halo? Or would you even pick something other than Halo in this case, right? What is your favorite setup? Tell me! <laughs> and uh, tell me what you think about the Hades in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment uh, down below and hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with you. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off.